Happy New Year, Sunnyside. The good Lord just continues to find ways to get our undivided attention, and he has successfully done it again. He keeps doing it. One thing I'd like to just call your attention to is the fact that one of our own, one of Sunnyside's kids, adult kids that is, her name is Ashley Butts Ely. Ashley just found out that she just successfully passed the California bar exam. We are just so truly proud of her. Just do remember, at one time, Ashley and her mom, Minnie, ran an exercise program here at Sunnyside over at the, over at the uh, um, community center. That exercise program ran some five years. They held exercise classes there several days a week, and it was to the point that we were averaging anywhere from 10 to 12 people from the church and the community on an ongoing basis. Again, that did last for some five years. Do know, Ashley, we are just so truly proud of you. It just goes to show Sunnyside and others. All you have to do is maintain high expectations, be willing to work toward them, and you can really achieve them. Do know Sunnyside, that's one of our children. So as you see Ashley, just let her know how truly proud of her we truly are. COVID, the coronavirus, the pandemic, it continues, it continues. Be aware that the numbers, instead of going down, tend to be going up. I'd like to share with you something then that's in the news. On Thursday, 18,764 new cases, that is new cases, were reported well above the daily average over last week, which was 14,000 cases. There were 205 COVID-19 deaths, according to the Times tally, the sixth highest single day death total. LA County is now averaging 171 deaths a day over the past week. Again, it's serious. It is very serious. Assume then that everybody that you run in, in contact with is asymptomatic. That means they could have COVID and not even be aware of it. Please keep your distance. Make sure you wear your mask. And again, change it. If that's the only one you have, please do wash it. Wash your hands. Get a fresh one. But whenever possible, do stay at home. This past Christmas, my husband and I, we spent some time in the yard of my mother-in-law. That's the way we spent time, just sharing the day with her. And at the end, when we were getting ready to go home, I called my brother, and I could tell in his voice that something was wrong. And he said that they were getting ready then to take my sister-in-law to the hospital. She is still in the hospital with COVID. So just do know that it really is serious. Instead of just going straight home, I asked my husband, let's just drive in front of their house and just sit there and just pray a while. And as we were pulling up, her daughter was pulling off with her. So again, we're still getting very positive uh, reports saying that she is improving. But do know COVID is very, very serious. At one time, it was said then that one in every 20 people that you would meet had COVID. Now it is said that is one in every five. So just assume that everybody you know, everybody you come in contact with is asymptomatic. So again, keep your distance. 
keep your distance, and whenever possible, do stay at home. Contact the church at 323-756-1453 if you would like some information about jobs, about current jobs. I must be on someone's list now because each day I get an update of available jobs in our area. I have notices about Ofer Winfrey Net Network, about jobs at Netflix, jobs at Department of Water and Power, jobs at Viacom CBS, jobs at uh, as the uh, appointment clerk at Kaiser, LA Lakers, and SpaceX. So again, if you want some information about these jobs, please just call the church, leave your name and number, and I promise to get in contact with you. Behind on your mortgage for renters, check out consumerfinance.gov slash coronavirus slash mortgage and housing assistance. For tenants and landlords, go to landlordtenants.d, as in duck, dre dot California, that's ca dot gov. That is landlordtenant.dre.ca.gov. Found slash LA is offering a $25 grant that is up to $25 to small business owners. Round two window will open on Monday, January the 11th. Again, that is found slash LA Small Business Recovery Fund. Now this is up to a $25,000 grant. Did not say loan. A loan must be paid back, but a grant is money that is given to you. Workplace outbreaks. LA County Department of Public Health says that if you are aware of at least three positive confirmed cases of coronavirus within 14 days at your workplace, do not hesitate to call 1-888-397-3993. Again, that's for your safety. That is, three or more confirmed cases of COVID-19 within 14 days, do call 1-888-397-3993. Help from Beyonce. Beyonce is giving $5,000 grants to individuals and families facing foreclosures or evictions. Online applications are taking starting January the 7th, 2021, by contacting the NAACP. Families will be able to submit necessary paperwork to the NAACP alongside an online application that opens January 7th. Total recipients uh, will be selected for 5,000 grants that will be disbursed in late January. A second round of applications will open in February. Do not hesitate to take advantage of that. And if no relief comes soon, analysts estimate that 12 million renters will owe an average of nearly $6,000 in back rent and utilities by January. Again, help is available. Do not hesitate to take advantage of it. Apply for a retraining scholarship by Oprah Winfrey with the ICANN Foundation for up to $8,000 based on your zip code. 
Now the zip codes that I was checking for was 90043-90047 for the church. Do call 323-388-3086. Again, retraining scholarships. Now, this might be the opportune time to learn another trade, to get trained for another area. Again, the number is 323-388-3086. I received notice that my driver's license would expire on August 1st, 2020. Prior to that, I had heard on the news that if you were at least 70 years old, you would be given an extension of one year. So I call myself taking advantage of that. I did, I had been staying in. So around, well, August, September, around October, I ended up going to the bank and I had my driver's license as my form of ID. And when I tried to take care of some business there, I was told, uh, no, your license has expired. And I told them, I said, well, of course it, it has, but I'm, I understand that if your license has expired and you were at least 70 or older, then you were given a one year's extension. I was told that the bank hadn't been told that. All right, because the teller is one that I associate with on a regular basis. I had no problems there. However, when I went to another bank that I deal with, the problem came up again and they were saying that they were not notified then that there was a year's extension on your driver's license. So anyway, I went online and got the necessary information that I needed. The number is, I mean, the, for online service, visit dmv.ca.gov, okay? The idea is they don't want seniors like me standing in those long lines. So as I took the time to fill the information out, I asked for help, help was readily available. I was pleasantly surprised to find out that I received my license back. It was renewed for five years. I did not have to take the test. And at the same time, I have the real ID. So the message is, instead of standing in those lines at DMV, go online, fill the information out. Now, you don't just have to be 70 or over. If you are 69 and younger, you're invited also to fill out the information online and some of the same opportunities are extended to you. If you have a permit, a permit, note also there are some bonus things that are available to you as well. So instead of going and standing in line, go online. You'll be pleasantly surprised at some of the things that you'll find out. As I close, this has really been a week. This has really been a week. The elections of January 5th, leading up to January 5th, finally took place. And do know that it has really blown some people's minds. I found myself really spending the day looking to see what the results were going to be. I was pleasantly surprised. I don't guess I was surprised. I was really expecting it because I knew that the people in Georgia had been gearing up for this election. And we've been told then that the election for the U.S. was coming straight through Georgia. The last two people then um, for the Senate was gonna come from Georgia, be it Republican or Democrat. 
So I'm pleased to announce that on, at, in the final analysis, that uh, Reverend Raphael Warnock, who happens to be the minister of John Lewis, the one that was telling you about getting into good trouble, okay, he actually won. He was the very first black male senator from Georgia. And we also have John Ossoff winning also. John Ossoff then was an intern for John Lewis. So that's really something the way the Lord just orchestrates things, okay? Lewis went out telling us, get into some good trouble. But again, the Lord made it quite visibly clear during this past week that what blacks have been saying all along, all along, differences have been made. Differences have really been made in the way that we as a people are treated by the police. And as you look at your paper, as you look at what was happening on the news, you could actually tell that differences, there were some stark differences made. So I told you last time to get your, I said I showed a Times Magazine, but it doesn't have to be a Times Magazine, okay? It can just be your newspaper. This is your local, this is your current textbook. Open it up. You'd be surprised as to what you'd see, okay? It gives you a daily accounting of what is taking place. But again, the violent mobs that were there, many of them that were carrying Confederate flags and they were sporting hateful anti-Semitic slogans, they actually stormed the nation's capital at the same time then that the new senators then were being announced from Georgia. The one thing that was just quite clear, it was quite obvious, that is as you had insurgents climbing the walls of the Capitol, the question is if our sons, if our daughters were to try and climb the walls of the nation's Capitol, how many steps, how far up that wall do you think they would have been able to get? So again, the Lord just keeps pointing out black history. He keeps putting it in America's face that we are being treated just a bit differently than others. I urge you, American history is being created on a daily basis. Do watch it unfold right before your very eyes because the Lord is putting it right there for us to see. Thank you.